Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV Mixing and Mastering Tutorials on YouTube. In this video I want to talk about a subject that I see coming up frequently and that creates quite some confusion. And that is stereo bass, stereo low frequencies and how and when you have to mono your basses. And overall we'll take a look at low frequencies in the side channel which is the stereo information of your mix. And since we are at it we'll take a look also at few ways that you can make your mono bass to have some stereo width, um, some stereo information. And we'll try to do this quotes safely. We'll use for this video different basses, a synth bass and a real electric bass. The reason why I want to look at both is A, so that you can apply this different genre, and B, because the treatment and the possible problems are very different with these two type of basses. So the first case, stereo bass. This obviously happens a lot on ADM music because most bass sounds come out from soft synths as stereo. And stereo is exciting, no doubt about it. It's exciting to listen to it in solo. Not so useful in a dance mix. Why? Because as a general rule, you don't want low frequencies on your side channel, on the stereo portion of your mix, because it will collapse when played in mono. And by collapse, I mean it will at best be much, much lower in volume and it will be missing frequencies and energy overall. It will sound hollow. Worst case scenario, it will disappear completely. And before you say, well, okay, but I care about stereo. I don't care about mono. Yeah, me too. <laughs> but for those of you that are not aware of this, club sound system are usually mono. Subs are mono and live shows and festival sound system big uh, festivals live can be mono too. And if we are talking about EDM, that's where you have your track played, hopefully. So mono compatibility is very important. You need to care about it. Another extremely important thing is low end. Low frequencies eat up headroom. Generalizing for sake of simplicity, the more low end a track has, the lower its potential to be pushed loud is. And again, ADM is a genre in which loudness is something to keep in mind when mixing, mastering, but before that, when producing. So we need to pick our sounds uh, carefully and treat them accordingly. So let's hear some example. I have Massive here and um, it's pretty common uh, virtual instruments for synth basses. I just picked one random uh, bass sound for this video and um, Let's hear and take a look at the spectrum. Okay, pretty standard sound. Um, as you can see, is a very rich sound. It has a lot of uh, a lot of energy in the low end. But let's hear just the sides. A lot of energy. Okay, so one of the options that we have is to mono the signal from a certain frequency and below, let's say 200, 210, something like that. And let's hear the difference. Without. Okay. You can hear a switch, but it's overall pretty transparent. I like the brain works uh, for this task. It compensates for um, phase issue and phase shift and level. And the result is pretty transparent. Let's hear the sides with the mono in. Take a look at the frequency analyzer. With the mono in, there's a lot less energy in the low end. If we take it out, look at that. Massive difference. So it's pretty remarkable. And the the other option that we have, we said, is to cut the low energy from the side channel. In this case, we put our Pro Q in mid side mode. And let's switch the brain works here. And then we simply remove the low end from the sides. Okay. Let's hear without. Uh, 
like I said, if you listen to it in solo, you might miss something, especially if you're listening to it in the headphones. But um, it, it, the problem is, like I said, you need some mono compatibility. And while the difference is going to be obvious in headphones, or if you listen the sound in solo in front of your speakers, in the mix is not going to be such a big deal. And most important, if your mix is played on a mono system, and that will happen at some point, a stereo bass is just going to cause problems, okay? It's not going to do your mix any good. So which process is going to be better, uh, mid-side EQ or the mono in thing with Brainworks? Nobody can tell, really. Uh, you need to experiment and see which one it works best for a given case. One thing that you can try, though, is to switch to linear phase when cutting the sides uh, with the with the MSQ. Okay, if you pay attention, you might need to experiment on your own to, to hear the difference here. If you listen when I switch the band on and off, uh, zero latency is more noticeable than linear phase. Still noticeable, but is a little more transparent in linear phase mode. Actually, it's a lot more transparent. So yeah, this can be uh, a viable solution if you need to cut the, the size, because uh, keep in mind, every EQ move is gonna cause a phase shift, and we don't want that, really. Uh, we can try to avoid when it's possible, especially when dealing with low frequencies. A phase shift around here, it can be tricky, okay? It can cause uh, the track to sound hollow. So, you know, uh, linear phase, it's there for a reason. This would be a good moment to try to use it, okay? So this was our first example. So how to deal with stereo bass.